everybody, welcome back to some more Planet Coaster working on Seatopia. So I decided to take a couple days in between episodes and the world did not explode. <laughs> Everything's going on just fine. Thank you guys for not freaking out so much. I had a decent idea so I thought I'd throw up an episode. I'm not guaranteed that we'll be going back to every other day. We'll see. Uh, the, the, the current plan is just to do Planet Coaster when I have ideas. Because you guys, like I've said before, don't want me to play Planet Coaster when I don't have ideas. So, that's how it's going to work from now on. We're at least going to do it a couple times a week for the time being. Basically, just when I have ideas. And I actually really like how this one came out. So, what we're doing today, it is an area kind of inspired by some of the Overwatch characters, Han, uh, Hanzo and Genji. And then the whole area is inspired by one of the maps on Overwatch called uh, Hanamura. And it's, again, inspired. It's not supposed to be directly copied from those or anything. You just kind of look at some reference pictures. We're going to be doing something really different today. Uh, make some dueling coasters. So we're going to have two co coasters that are exactly the same in every way and have them duel each other. It's, you can't really sync them in game. There's not an option for that. Uh, but you can imagine how it would look. In fact, you don't have to imagine because I actually sync them up and test them at the end. And so they're all lined up. So the coasters are exactly identical. They're a little boring because of that. And they're a little, not super boring. They're actually pretty fun. And they're a little wobbly uh, just because I didn't want to smoothen them because I didn't want to chance them getting out of sync. But we'll get to that at the end. Over here, we're just doing a nice little entrance area. Uh, this isn't going to be a whole brand new section like some of the other parts like the beach section or the... What was it? Uh, they, they, like the Christmas area, the Winter Wonderland. Uh, this is just going to be kind of a small self-contained section. Kind of like our Mediterranean Plaza and the Ad Ad Andiamo coaster. I forgot the name of that. I think that was it. This was like, let's go in Italian. But this was different for me because I have never built anything like this in this game. So there's a lot of trial and error you'll see going on around here. Uh, it comes out. I, I think it comes out really nice looking. It's not the best. Like I've definitely seen other people make some coast or make some uh, Asian-inspired architecture in this game, quite a bit better. But this is the first time I tried it. I didn't even practice it. I kind of just jumped in, and it came out all right looking. A lot of moving little pieces around, but I like it. Hopefully, you guys do too. And I know a lot of people don't like it when I mention comments and videos, and I really should stop doing that. Well, I'm trying to work on doing that, but I do want to do a public service announcement. Uh, this is just a favor for me asking you guys. Uh, to abide by one of my pet peeves. One of my pet peeves is when people go to my other videos and just ask me where Planet Coaster is. Every video I upload, I get like 10 to 30 comments, and I delete most of them of just people asking, where's Planet Coaster? Where's Planet Coaster? Sometimes I reply sarcastically, which I probably shouldn't, but it's just a pet peeve of mine when people ask about Planet Coaster in my other videos. So please, guys, just as a favor to me, uh, let's let's try and avoid doing that. Uh, hopefully I'll, I'm probably not gonna mention it again, but just as a favor, I'd really appreciate it. Because once again, guys, I am not a Planet Coaster YouTube channel, I am an indie game variety channel, currently plays Planet Coaster. In fact, we're playing a ton of awesome new games on the channel that you guys should definitely check out. If you haven't been watching Astroneer, you're missing now, that game is a ton of fun. Uh, Raft was a pretty fun little game we've been playing lately, not to mention all the VR content I've been putting out, which I need to do more of, because I've been, I haven't done a VR video in like a week or so, and I kind of miss it, so we're probably gonna jump on that. This week after Christmas, when this video is going up, it's on Christmas. Merry Christmas, guys. Today is Christmas Day, so Merry, Merry Christmas. Hope you guys had a wonderful morning, day, spending it with family. Uh, I'm spending Christmas alone, unfortunately, through my own decisions, uh, just to save money this holiday season uh, to do things next year. So that's the whole point. So I'm going to be actually streaming on Christmas Day over on Twitch. So after watching this video, guys, if you want to hang out some more, I will probably be over on Twitch streaming most of the day. Uh, you can find the links in the description below to go check out Twitch and hang out with me. And the like. There we go. So we finally got that second side copied. Okay, so I was just trying to talk through that because it was a little bit boring. You got the idea. But playing around some pieces. Oh, one thing I liked in this was just using some pieces in different ways that I haven't really used them before. So those roof pieces, are, I think, were pretty cool. On the side there, we have one kind of halfway sticking out using the smaller grid size. And then we have it backwards sticking out again to get those nice little curved wood pieces. Because there aren't a lot. Actually, there's like no curved wood in this game. All the wood in this game is perfectly straight. Uh, most of the pieces in this game are perfectly straight, so you kind of got to uh, find a way to do things, kind of work outside the system. That, that's how we did the roof up there with all those little wood planks. Just kind of uh, point it out and then change the angle a little bit so it kind of looks like it's a gentle curve up. And not super effective, but I think it worked. I think it came out all right looking. Uh, I decided to change it to a lighter color. I decided that looked a little bit better than this sort of like 
real light beige brown looking. I thought this off-white looked pretty decent. It's not pure white. You can see me actually selecting it there. It's a little bit off-white to give it a little bit of color because the pure white would have probably just been way too bright. But looking nice. Okay, so I think that... I really like how that came out. Again, I keep doing little sections of parks and realize, wow, it'd be cool to make an entire park in this style. So heck, if I want to do this more, I might even do more. <laughs> if I want to do more, I might do more. That's how it works, because I'm my own boss. I suppose. That's not really relevant, but <laughs> okay. So yeah, so if I feel like doing more of this, maybe I'll add like a... Because this was supposed to be just like a self-contained section, but maybe I'll add some more on the sides or something? Something like that. Over here trying to decide exactly what kind of lamp I wanted on it. Uh, originally we went with those torches for now. We end up changing them out for the oriental lamps. The, I like the look of the oriental lamps. The, the light they give off is a little bit too red for my taste. So we may change that. This is all stuff we should change. Uh, definitely let me know what you guys think. Cause I'm always looking for feedback from you guys. Hmm. Looking real nice. Doing a lot of red because uh, in the Overwatch map, uh, Hanamur, I, I'm probably saying that wrong. What is it? Is it Hanamura or Hamanur? Hama, Ham, <laughs> now I'm just getting in my head. Hamanura. Da, 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 da. Hamanura. Okay, yeah, it is Hamanura. Okay, that's what that is. Uh, they have a lot of pink trees and everything. Couldn't really do that here. We have these red trees, like the Crimson King, and then there's actually a new one. So we're kind of using those instead. Just imagine they're like pink trees, maybe. Something like that. Uh, we're going to be using the Basilisk uh, single rail coaster thing like this, RMC. I don't know. There's a lot of words and names on this thing that I don't really pay attention to. This was tricky. Just getting everything lined up and trying to match things perfectly to make sure the coasters were perfectly exact. Like, you'll see me change them and, finic and like finicky, finicky move around. <laughs> move them around all finicky. I was just trying to make sure they were like the exact same height and per worked perfectly well together. Eh, it was a bit of a challenge having to go back and forth and sometimes I would build something and they realize wait it was different on the other one uh, Not sure why and then originally I was like wait we I'm, I'm looking at the height markers And I was doing them relative to the ground and the terrain changes because the area is not perfectly flat near the back So I was like, oh, we should probably have it level off of sea level So that, that way we can use the height markers. You'll see me do that later. That is super handy It's something they added to the beta or the full release is one of those. I think it was the beta the height markers which are super handy, so you can just tell the height of the coasters, especially if you're doing things like this where you want uh, two exact copies of the coasters. Whee, there they go. Well, at least there goes one of them. Don't really like how it's kind of right next to the beach area. Eh, but it's okay. Oh, I'll, I'll get over it. Doing a couple little loops right there. Nice little, uh, one big turn into the loops, then we're gonna have them turn back around. Uh, this coaster, the fear rate actually gets relatively high. I'm a little worried no one's gonna wanna ride it, so... I really don't want to have to edit the coaster because that would be kind of annoying to have to do that. It would be very annoying. I don't really care if people write it or not. <laughs> it doesn't bother me too much. Not really trying to make a successful park here, but I mean, it's not that intense of a coaster. We have one, in or I guess we have two inversions in total, and the one helix, and that's about it. It doesn't even go that fast. Not entirely sure why the fear rating is so high, like the nausea and excitement weren't, but who knows? Like, people, some people were writing on it. I think it has the same problem as, see right there, you saw they were off? Something around the entrance or exit of that helix was off. So you'll actually notice it right here when you look at that. Oh, those are, those are the wrong heights. Dang it, so then I have to go, wait a second, what did we do wrong here? Let's check the heights here. Check the heights over here. Something's going on. Something's, something about these helixes are screwy. <laughs> get, get it? Because cause it's, a, it's a helix, kind of like, like a screw. And screwy can mean like messed up or wrong or crazy or other synonyms. And a helix shape is reminiscent of a screw. And screwy has the word screw in it. Now I'm just stalling because this is incredibly boring to watch. So I'm just annoying you with my ranting. There we go. Got the loops figured out. Got everything nice and level. I'm uh, going to add a little bunny hill here. Go up and then down. And then we're going to have a dive into the terrain a little bit. I just want to see how they're going, so I just uh, basically pause the game, put them both on testing, and then they both go up at the same time. So that's basically how I time it. Uh, there's no way it's ever going to line up like that with the, the people in the game. Like, even if the coaster is packed 24-7, not really going to work like that, unfortunately, especially with the breakdowns and everything. So it's okay. That would be something really cool they could, they could add uh, later in the game is sinking. Because I'm pretty sure... Did even Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 have that? 
I don't think so. I know the later Roller Coaster Tycoon games did. I never played any of them, but I know they did. Like the only one I ever played in the past was Roller Coaster Tycoon One, and I'm pretty sure that game just came out on mobile devices. Like the original developer, like reworked it and published it or something. I'm not sure. I saw like the headline on Reddit that Roller Coaster Tycoon One was now on mobile devices, but I didn't actually investigate it further. That'd be pretty cool. If I ever played mobile games, I don't play mobile games ever, so I think I have like pocket mortys on my phone and I played that on a flight once and that was about it <laughs> it's the only video game I've ever played on a phone oh what I bother I got a sweet ass computer I don't need a silly little phone eh, maybe mmm mmm hope you guys like these beats I, I found something and I was like Asian inspired beats royalty free booyah <laughs> I kind of miss the tunes I really like the music that we had over on the winter wonderland that was pretty sweet I enjoyed that but wouldn't really fit this section that much. So unfortunately, no. We only used it for the three videos. Maybe if I do another Christmas video anytime, I'll have to hold on to that song. That'd be nice. I mean, there is like, there are a couple, I was looking for a Christmas game to play. Couldn't really find any good ones. There was like a VR Santa game uh, that used like a big slingshot and chuck them at kids. So I might check that out. So if you guys see that, I guess today, then that's what I played. <laughs> there you go, I, I spoiled the surprise. I decided to go back to the uh, end of the ride and have that just extend from there and then just auto complete and it should be exactly the same just wanted to check the heights there make sure it's all good looking and it is so there we go we got our two dueling coasters look at them go zoop they kind of zip around the edge a little bit too fast so I decided to add some brakes to slow them down so I don't kill anyone that happens to ride it hopefully not ah eh, they're fine uh, changing the speed of the chain lift as well just maxing that out just because it's going pretty slow inside of just a you know, make it a little faster. What's the point of a slow chain lift? Then need some more brakes there. I was trying to decide between the friction brakes and the trim brakes. I like the trim brakes just because you can curve them, but this is a perfectly straight section, so probably you don't need to. Meh. Out of the entrance exits here, and then want to uh, match up the, these cues just like uh, the rest of the coaster. So we want it perfectly uh, matching and straight and level and all good in the hood, as the kids say. Those damn kids. Okay, there we go. Got to do the exits as well. I wasn't really sure how I was gonna lay out the path on the uh, the race section over there, so I kind of just held off on connecting these for now. Adding the exit queue to the second coaster, or I guess technically the first one. Which one did I start first? It was the one on the right. That's right. Oh, well, now it's the one on the left. It's because I switched. <laughs> I was trying to figure out a good way to connect these over here. The path was being stupid, so I was like, okay, you know what? We'll just wrap around here and then connect them there. Well, that works. Made the queue a little bit longer too, even though I doubt we'll ever really need a long queue for this one. Changing up the colors, so the one on the right is going to be Genji and the left one is Hanzo. So you can see here, the colors look a little bit better. Genji is like gray and the bright green, and then Hanzo is like uh, black with like that light orangish brown. But I think it came pretty cool. I also did off camera change the colors of the rock, uh, the like the castle walls, the, 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 the like the limestone walls all around this thing. Made them a little bit browner, gave them a little bit more color. I think they came out a little bit better looking. And then I wanted two small buildings here to kind of fill in this space. For some reason these were being really stupid and annoying, it wasn't lining up on the grid, so I was like, okay, let's do that. Probably need to exit on the coaster as well. That way people can leave. There we go. Uh, didn't really, wasn't sure if I was just gonna have these just to be as decorations or actually function buildings, but I decided to rip this off, take that, well copy it actually. And then use this on the building. Took a couple tries to kind of get through. Well, any day now, see top. Want to do it? Hey, nope, nope. There you go. All right, there you go. See that 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 is nice. So you can just use it over and over again. It's pretty handy. You can even split it off, make it its own building. So that way, I could use this roof on different things if I really wanted to, if I felt the need to. But real simple buildings here. It's kind of mimicking the larger structure out front. I uh, decided to put in a sick bay, a medical area, and I think a restroom over here. Didn't really feel like putting food over here. Not entirely sure why, I just thought that was a little bit better. And since they are relatively intense coasters, uh, maybe people can go to the sick bay to throw up or something. I don't know. Changing the colors of the uh, coaster cars as well. There we go. Changing the lights too. So here's where I couldn't decide what the lights are. So I decided to go with the oriental lights. Just because, I don't know, I thought I like the design work on them. They're a little bit boring though. Oh, well, they're a little bit too dark and they're a little bit too red. I don't really think they fit it very well. Uh, for the coaster station or coaster bay, however you want to say it, <laughs> I decided to just do rocks on the outside. 
didn't really want to enclose them or anything because I figured this place had enough buildings in it for the uh, this, this small section I wanted it to be. And I, I always think this looks nice, especially once we mix in the red foliage, like the red bushes and trees and stuff. And we do a lot of bushes and trees all throughout. So many bushes and trees. Actually, it's really not that much. It's just a few. <laughs> but I really enjoyed building this section. I thought it was actually a ton of fun. Uh, the coasters are a little bit annoying to have to keep going back, but I think they came out pretty good. Uh, remember, it is going to be a little bit jumpy just because I didn't want to smooth the coasters because I was afraid that would mess up their timings. I may go back and change that because it doesn't matter if they're not timed together just because they're, they're not synced. But it was just more of a, I just want them to be perfectly timed. So if I test them, uh, they'll all be timed well together. So I will see if I end up changing that. It's not too bad. It's just a little bit. Gun, 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 gun. <laughs> I don't know. But there we go. Dive on in. That is going to be it for this episode of Planet Coast, you guys. Definitely let me know if you enjoyed by leaving a like, leaving a comment, leaving a donut or something. Hope you guys enjoyed these coasters. I will see you next time. Bye.